was no Wi-Fi out there. I mean, we were looking at homes and then we noticed there was like satellite dishes in every single yard. Is there no Wi-Fi, no streaming, and Locust Grove? Oh my goodness. Do not move to Locust Grove without knowing these five things. So first of all, where is Locust Grove anyway? Well, Locust Grove is about 35, 40 minutes from Hartsfield National Airport. Well, I guess on a good day when there's no traffic, um, cause you'll Google that, but think about traffic. When is there no traffic? Um, probably like at 8 p.m. when um, everyone's home from work and there's no work, work, road work going on. Well, the good thing is we don't see a, lot of, a whole lot of highway work on the south side. So on average day, plan about an hour drive to the airport just to be on the safe side, okay? And number two, Locust Grove is kind of rural, 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 I cannot say that word. Well, it's, it, you know what I mean, but it's actually growing. But with all the ruralness um, comes the railroads. It's a railroad town actually. But my goodness, the railroads, just about every hour or so, you hear the trains and they're loud. So if you are house hunting, keep an eye out for the railroad tracks near your neighborhood before you sign that contract. You know, I have my clients do like a Google search, a Google Earth search that is, before we look at homes. Now you can find out a lot with Google Earth. It's an upgrade from like the Google Maps home view. I know you thought you were doing it with those Google Maps. So did my buyer until I have her upgrade to Google Earth. Thank me later. Number three, please learn the back roads. I-75 can be a nightmare. I mean, learn the back, back, back roads because the regular back roads that everybody knows about, that everyone knows about, they get backed up too. So if you must travel on I-75, you have to get a peach pass. So you can travel in the express lane and pass all the cars sitting in traffic. This may help you get to that little one's soccer practice in time. But hold up, wait a minute, I have to tell you something. The peach pass does not always work in your favor. You see, whomever put these plans together for the express lane with the DOT or the city council members, I don't know, but whoever signed off on this probably didn't fully think this thing through. Well, the express lanes you see are interchangeable and not in a good way. You see, the old, they only go one way certain hours throughout the day. So if you think you're gonna hop on I-75 North Express Lane with your brand new peach pass to get to your yoga class around 6 p.m., probably not gonna happen. Yep, the express lanes only go south around that time and travel north during the morning rush hour. Now during the daytime, well that's anyone's guess. I mean, we don't even know who operates this thing. I don't know, it's like, is it a Wizard of Oz? Can we just click our heels and get home like Dorothy, please? Goodness, there's traffic. Number four, so what about the school system? Well, we'll talk about that in number six, but the real question is, does Locust Grove have Wi-Fi? Okay, so it depends on who you ask and what part of Locust Grove you're moving to. You can find Xfinity's, AT&T, and Spectrum, but if you're in the more rural, okay, I got it, if you're in the more rural areas of Locust Grove, well, you ain't gonna find those guys. I remember when I had a client touring this oh so cute new construction community, we had toured like three floor plans, and she fell in love with V1. Now, as we walked back to the model, that's when we noticed it. Satellite dishes everywhere in every single yard. No streaming, no Wi-Fi in 2022. She was like, Nakia, I am sorry, but if my husband cannot stream, we cannot buy here. Well, here's a little tip. You may not get Xfinity and AT&T or even Verizon, but Google Hughes Nest. They have high-speed internet with a built-in Wi-Fi modem. Woo! Now you can breathe. Now, if you are enjoying these tips so far, hit the subscribe button now. Number five, so what are the people saying? What are the real residents saying? Well, one reviewer said they were born and raised in Locust Grove and left for 47 years. How old is she now? But she moved back because it's a small town field with all the conveniences that you need. Well, she's 70 and she said she loves The Grove. Okay, Debbie, I love The Grove too. That sounds so cute, so I call it The Grove. Now, one reviewer said, Locust Grove is the new McDonald's. It's growing, it has more restaurants, lots of new construction and homes, so more homes for you. But what they don't like is that it's got all the industrial stuff going on. But if you're thinking about moving to Locust Grove, message me today. Number six, according to niche.com, Unity Grove is the top elementary school in Locust Grove. Now, don't get that confused with Union Grove, two different schools. 
Locust Grove Middle and Locust Grove High are the top middle and high schools according to Niche.com. But I bet you're thinking, wait, are those the only schools in Locust Grove? No, they just have the word Locust Grove in them. But they're the top according to Niche.com. So I hope you found this information valuable. Subscribe and see what city we're going to hit up next. Your favorite realtor, Nikki with Pink Sands Group. Happy shopping!